Yes, this is where the bear man. Uh, well, earlier I found out my friend Pete Goma died earlier today, and I knew him for 18 years. Uh, many years ago, we used to hang out together, and uh, my biggest memory is the week of the blizzard of '97. I stayed at Pete's for a couple days, and then it started snowing really heavy. And I started heading home to Peyton, but I turned around to head back to Pete's because I forgot a bag of dog food, and he had the TV on, and he said uh, nobody's supposed to drive anywhere, and that they were issuing out um, $500 tickets for people driving because we had 22 inches of snow that night. So what we did is uh, we uh, we got some calls uh, from people asking for rides to a central meeting and we picked a couple of them up and then a uh, cop pulled us over and we explained that it's important to get these young guys to this meeting uh, to give them support and stuff so there was no ticket and there's a lot of memories of Pete um, boy when he was down and out I took him to the hospital and you know took him to his doctor's appointments etc et and then when I was hurting he would help take take care of me and he's he's like one of the best guy friends I ever had and uh, knew him very well um, he used to be a judge in Boulder years earlier and then he moved here to the Colorado Springs area uh, he lived on Bijou Street so basically I just thought I'd do kind of a small eulogy uh, for those that knew Pete uh, Pete Guma um, and my friend Elaine, I liked him too, and he would call and ask for, ride, for, for rides to meetings, things like that. So anyway, I just thought I'd do a small eulogy because I went hiking for hours. All right, now it's after 2, it's about 2.30 a.m. in the morning, and it's hard for me to settle down my brain, so hopefully I'll get there. Anyway, I can go back to this uh, computer here. Uh, oh, one more thing is... Uh, years ago, I told Pete that someday I will own a p piece of property, mountain property, etc., and that I would show him. Well, I never showed him this mountain property that's uh, almost paid off. And, uh, well, boy, I also told him that someday I'll be able to, you know, work on computers, even though I used to be afraid of them. And he lived on the west side for a long time. So, anyway, short eulogy, or maybe it's long, I don't know. So I just want to say goodbye, Pete. It was nice knowing you. Come back here.